What's up, hacksters? I've got my hands on the new Blues Global Starter Kit. This includes the LTE Cat 1 Global Note Card, which also has Wi-Fi capabilities and is one of a new series of note cards, along with the Note Card Wi-Fi, Note Card LoRa, and Tailored Chips editions. Let's take a close-up look, but first, be sure to subscribe for more hardware in your feed. These Blues Starter Kits run about $100 to $120 and include a Note Card, Note Carrier, and Swan Microcontroller, plus a dual antenna. The note carrier is the main body of the kit, with a SIM card slot and built-in antennas, plus a big helping of GPIO pins, power options, quick and STEM QT connectors, and more. The note card provides wireless connections across one or more protocols such as Wi-Fi, cellular, and LoRa, while the SWAN is a low-cost, embeddable STM32L4 based microcontroller with an ultra-low power ARM Cortex-M4 core. It's designed on Adafruit's Feather standard, so it's compatible with tons of add-ons and Featherwing-compatible carriers. Just so you know, Blues also offers a Sparrow development kit for building cluster device applications with your preferred note card, as well as various external power options, including the Scoop rechargeable lithium-ion battery and a 3AA battery pack. My global starter kit includes that LTE Cat 1 global note card, which mounts onto the M.2 slot on the carrier board, plus the note carrier F with a swan on board, and this flexible dual Wi-Fi and cellular antenna that attaches to the note card. The note card also has a physical antenna built in. Now let's take a quick tour of the getting started process. A link on the bag points me to start.wireless.dev. Following the first tutorial, I slot the note card into position on the note carrier and use the screw to secure it. Next, I attach the antenna's LTE cable to the main connector on the board, and the GPS antenna wire to the GPS socket. I connect the note carrier's micro USB port to my computer, making sure my USB cable supports data transfer. For the next steps, I'll be using a browser that supports the web serial API, in this case Chrome. There is also a command line interface, if you'd rather use that to send data back and forth. I click the USB note card button and give it permission to access the port on one of the ports listed here. There are some extra tips here in case you run into trouble. We'll be sending our first request now, and then interfacing with NoteHub, which is Blues' secure proxy cloud service, where you can manage fleets of devices, update them over the air, and connect them up to your own cloud applications. This requires a NoteHub account, so I'll set that up first, then create a new project to play with. We'll just go with the default unique product UID prefix and add playground. I'll add my note card to this project by setting its hub to that UID, which completes successfully with this JSON response. Let's check the connection by initiating our first sync between the device and the project. We can request updates on the status of the sync, and we'll see the process move through several stages. After it completes, we get a response with the Unix epoch time of the sync, and the seconds since it completed. Back on the hub, we see that our device has now been added. Let's try adding some pretend sensor data and sending that up. We create this example data on the device in its own JSON object within the request, then initiate another sync, which pushes it up to the cloud. Once again, we can check the status as often as we like. Let's go see what that looks like in the browser interface. Our event with the sensor reading is listed among other traffic between the device and the cloud. At this point, you can follow the next few tutorials to set up your microcontroller, build your first IoT app, and push data to your own hosted database. You can also create events in the cloud and sync them down to the device. An explicit delete command is required so that even after reading, the info stays put on the board until you say otherwise. There's lots more to explore. Check out the links in the description below for the API reference and other documentation. Also, see the Blues Workshop from Hackster's 2023 Impact Summit about how to connect and scale a network of distributed smart city devices to the cloud across swappable protocols, including CAT1, LTE-M, NB-IoT or 2G Cellular, plus Wi-Fi and LoRaWAN, using a single code base. That's all from me today. A big thanks to the Blues team who sent these over. Be sure to check out the Hackster News article for an in-depth look, plus the Blues hub on Hackster, where you can find tons of interesting projects being deployed around the world. And of course, subscribe here for weekly hardware unboxings, tutorials, and interviews. Hack on. Thank <laughs> you.